Eat her out like a Z? <laughs> no, 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 no. Communication, communication. Hi, longtime listener, not first time caller, but where do you see yourself in 10 years? And why is it as governor of California? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think I don't see myself anywhere too far in the future. Um, with everything that's happened to me, I try not to look into the future because then I, I have a natural addiction to achieving, I think. And if I try and look and see what, how I want my life to be, or I, I set a goal, I think I try and achieve too hard and I stop recognizing and enjoying the now. So I don't really have any future goals besides just like wanting to pay my bills and be happy. <laughs> I would love to just pay off all the debts I have and be happy. I'm 47 and still a virgin. Help, Adriana. Zoom, Zoomer. So you should get on dating apps. Um, you should get on meetup apps. Uh, it's totally okay to hire a sex worker in a safe environment if you want to just get the deed done. Um, and then it's totally okay to stay a virgin until you meet somebody, no matter how old you are. It's totally okay. You don't need help. You just need to give yourself time. And if you're tired of waiting around on it, then like I said, there's nothing wrong with hiring a sex worker in a safe environment. As someone who's had an injury, what do you do if you can't have to do it? What do you mean, Johnny? I'm 36 and still a virgin. Dating apps suck. Also, um, dating, uh, sex in America is down by like 20 or 40 percent. There's a re uh, recent uh, article that came out. I'll find it for you guys. Post in my Discord. Pretty interesting. As as a society in America, we've gone down like 20, 20 or 40 percent. I'm not quite sure, um, but I do believe it's in an era of technology. Younger people don't want babies. I definitely agree with that. Younger people don't want babies, no. Dance Cop, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That question made my brain hurt. But you can be happy with money. No, you can't be happy with money. You can only find true happiness based on like yourself, I think. You can't be happy with money. Plenty of people who have money aren't aren't happy. Money can help, I guess. Plenty, plenty of people who are broke are happy. Coming from a rich person, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Hey, Wardy, you don't know my fin financial stability. Um, you also don't know, or probably didn't care to do your research to understand how I grew up and how I've lived throughout my life. I grew up in crazy, crazy situations, situations that were so terrible that the only thing I could rely on were the happy moments to get me through them. So for you to say coming from a happy person, it's just somebody who's superficial. If you're on Twitch, you're kind of rich though. Well, I've sold my butthole, so I would hope I have some, some savings left. But that's not a bad thing. Why do we look at it as a bad thing, right? Why, why do you guys come off as saying like, oh, you're probably rich in a negative term. Like, you should be happy for me. I put my body out there on the internet. I worked 10 years to get to where I am. I came from nothing. This should be a success thing. When you when you look at me, you should think this is great for her. You shouldn't think, oh damn, she's rich in a negative sense. And you should, you should think that for other people as well. You should think that for uh, other people as well. Thank you so much, Scotty. Thanks, guys. I agree. I've barely made any money to spend, but I got a family and a wife and I don't need much more money. I got everything right right here. I love that freak sheep TV. I love that. You'll probably end up making more money because you're thinking happy. I agree. I agree. You, sir. 
make yourself a brand and a business and that's a good thing yes yes sir let's see robot thank you so much for the four months if you had a role model or someone that's inspired you to be who you are today well, well everyone's gonna talk shit when i say tim Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the Chow dono. Chow 98 tipped $100. Damn. You have amazing eyes. Thank you for the 100. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much, Tianjin. Wow, that's a nice tip. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so I was going to say if anybody, or I was going to say if I have a role model, it's Kim Kardashian because she had a sex tape and then also such a good businesswoman. She's a lawyer. You know, I know you guys want to talk shit on her, but um, she's someone I look up to and she's still currently being successful. And I would say after that, Kamora Lee Simmons, because I've always liked her business mind and everything she's done with her brand. And Paris Hilton. Dread. <laughs> if you could pick a place in the world to live, where would that be? I think Tennessee. I would be ashamed of anything you accomplished and there's always going, oh. Let them hate. Why thank you, sir. Sounds like you're a nice person, but your children, I don't have children. Yeah, Paris is great. So then it's decided moving to Tennessee. I know, I love Tennessee. It's so pretty there. I don't know who Andrea DeWorkins is. What's the name of your next bulldog? This is a Boston Terrier. She's a Boston Terrier. She's a Boston. She's super freaky. Dun, dun, dun. I like her slob around the side of her face. It's nice. I like her slobbery mouth. Do you ever feel like you can only ever have superficial relationships with people because of your past? Um, I feel like I can't have a lot of relationships with people because of my past in general. Um, I think that the way I currently view most people is so guarded that I can't really make relationships. I'm guarding myself. 